Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In the previous video we have understood how to import the quarterly income statement from the quarter files. Now uh, let me just quickly show you one step that we have left in the previous video. Like we want to format this these three quarters also. So what you can do you can simply copy this which this data which has already been formatted keep the cursor here alt e s and format it is not going to change the data only the format has been pasted now we want to place the formulas also like for ebit for pbt for net income okay so what you can do instead of putting the same formula again simply copy this and come here and paste it data will not change copy this come here and paste it copy this select this copy this also select this and paste it so data is not changing what we have done we have formatted this also and we have provided the formulas wherever it was required now what we are going to do we will again uh, import last two years of quarters for 2018 and 2019 to get the quarterly data of 2018 and 19 what we can do we can only use the quarter files of 2019 okay because quarter quarterly data of 2018 will be available in 2019 also so come here this is 2019 open this we will go to march quarter file go down a bit let's see where is our income statement this is our income statement this time i will be doing little fast because i have already explained you the steps so copy this select it copy it this is march 2019 march 2019 paste it here come again alt select with the mouse copy march 2018 paste it here remove this dash and put it zero this dash put zero so what we can do we can go to statement of changes in equity now because what we need we need dividend so how much is the dividend this is 192 for march 2019 192 and for this 187 that's it we can close this pdf file go to the second quarter that is june 2019 i hope you remember that pdf for second quarter was not available on the website of the company however if you do some google then that pdf may be available somewhere but i am using only the website okay so we have this balance sheet and we have this quarterly income statement so this is the data that we need so select it you have to be careful this time what actually you are copying and what actually you are pasting so copy these two data and paste it here let me check this is yes 2019 only select this data and paste it here now i will do the same thing for this also this is for 2018 copy these two only
I hope whatever I have copied, I copied it correctly. So now what we need, we need dividend related details also. So go to shareholder equity. What data it is? It is quarter ended June. So how much is our dividend? I hope I don't copy some incorrect data. 286 is the net income. 286 is the net income. So 188 should be the dividend. Right? Okay. Come here. So you have to actually interpret what data you are seeing. So this is quarter ended June. This is 596. 187 is the dividend. 596 is the profit. So 187 is the dividend. 180. Close this now. Now go to the September quarter file. This is our quarter file. Total asset keyword to search the balance sheet. This is our income statement. So copy this. Come here. Paste it here. Come back. Copy this also. Just a second. Just a second. Cut this and paste it here. Copy this and paste it here. Now what we have to do again? We have to format them. But what before that we, I need to put my dividend related data. So what we will do? We will go to statement of changes in equity that is here. So the dividend for current quarter is 194. So come here and put 194. Just to cross check if the right if we have put the right data. So 574 is the total dividend. So 574 is the total dividend. So we have we are putting right data. So let's check for the previous quarters also. So come down. Yes. How much is the dividend for this particular quarter? It is 194. 194 total of this is 568 so let's check it here 568 thankfully we are putting right data and let's see the net income also it's 1420 let's check it here 1420 so second quarter data i was just little uh, i just wanted to cross check again if the second quarter data that we have put is correct or not so we uh, cross checked in the third quarter data and we checked it that data is correct because the accumulated data is correct now this data what we have to do we have to format so simply copy this select it all tst format do the same thing again here you can select or you don't need to select it's okay all TS T format so but what we have done we have only formatted the data we need to apply the formulas also copy this formula paste it here paste it here copy this formula also paste the formula here paste the formula here copy this paste the formula and paste the formula here also copy this also paste the formula here and paste the formula here now what we need to do now what we need we need fourth quarter's data also here is something that you are going to learn fourth quarter data is not available in any of the quarter file so what we can do we can now prepare annual income statement whatever will be the annual data for example let's say annual data is 10,000 of revenue just for example i'm telling you however this we will do in the next video 
let's suppose sale of the year is 12,000. Okay, so what will be the fourth quarter data? You just need to deduct the last three quarters data from the annual data. You will get fourth quarter data. So this is let's suppose sales of the year minus sum of first three quarters. So this is our fourth quarters sales. So let us do it in the next video. Thanks for watching.